Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy, and today is week one for Arms Day. The gunsmith has field test weapons for us to try out, and each weapon has a specific bounty tied to it for us to achieve. And when you reach rank one or higher with the gunsmith reputation, an Arms Day order will become available to you, and at higher ranks, you have more than one of them at a time. On Arms Day, after gaining reputation and completing the tasks, a foundry order will be delivered to you that contains a legendary weapon. This is going to have a random set of perk rolls from your desired foundry. We pick up our first order next Wednesday, so for this week, be mindful of the special and heavy weapons for your Arms Day order. Maybe a sniper, shotgun, fusion, machine gun, or launcher, because with the raid coming out just days after the Taken King release, a high damage elemental legendary special or heavy weapon might be the route you guys want to go with your first order. The challenges associated with the bounties were not bad at all. You can go to one of your bounty spots like the Sword of Crota, wake up the hive, and just knock them out. But for most of them, you can just casually play the game, go out on patrol, and just have fun testing the weapons out. I'm going to try and get a sniper in my Arms Day package next week, but this Hawk of Pulse is making it so hard on me. Probably my favorite weapon of the five. The field test wanted me to get 10 precision kills with it. I just went on patrol, and it was done in no time. I was a fan of the fourth round burst, too, and at first, I was skeptical. But when I tried this weapon out, my opinion of it changed. The gun feels really smooth. The Omelon Fusion wants you to get kills in the Crucible. Now, for the Crucible-specific tests, I'm probably going to be doing these in Rumble. You get in a lot of 1v1 situations and get into quick encounters. And the majority of my kills were from the air. It had a little bit of a charge time, but it worked out because you can anticipate it when you're behind cover. The bounty for the Omelon Sniper was the same as the Fusion, get kills in the Crucible. And I was not a fan of this thing, guys. It has very low impact, it felt kind of clunky and slow. I will give Omelon this though, their weapons do look pretty sweet. The Soros Rocket Test weapon wants you to use it against high-ranking enemies to get it complete. I went to the Cosmodrome, went down to the bottom left stairs on the spawn, and I killed those three Hive over and over again. It was done in no time. And the fifth weapon is the Haka Sniper. The test wants you to get double kills with it, and again, I just ran around on patrol and had fun with it. This was my second favorite weapon of the five. The impact was decent, the scope felt great, and after the first day, Haka stole my heart. As you complete the challenges for the weapons, your gunsmith reputation goes up. You can do this for each of your characters per day. And after completing the five, my bar was just shy of rank one, and I think this adds so much to the game, something to do with your friends, it promotes gun diversity, and it gives you a great reward at the end. Once you complete the challenge for the weapon and earn the reputation, the test is over. You can do whatever you want with it, you can keep it, dismantle it. Also remember that the stranger's rifle is now a legendary. Don't worry if you deleted it, go to the abandoned quest kiosk by the vanguards, pick up the fruit of the garden quest. The stranger's call is your first step, and once completed, you can reobtain your stranger's rifle. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of the new arms day, which field weapons from day one you're most impressed with. I am Cool Guy, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.